<laughs> so some downsides to having a bit of success. Here's a big one. I'm not allowed to steal anymore. <laughs> you heard this? And as you know, round here, we like a little tickle. <laughs> I was brought up by professional thieves. My old man was semi-professional. Oh, he's proper, me dad. I'd go out shopping with him, and I'd be sort of like, I'd walk in the shop, I'd pick something, I'd go, I like that, dad, that's all right, that, and I really like that. He'd go, yeah, put it back, we'll see. Put it back, we'll see. I walk out of the shop, he'd go, there you go, son. That's for you, that thing you want. <laughs> Thanks, dad. <laughs> Gerbil. Yeah, because I've been sort of stealing at a low level most of my adult life. <laughs> I like stealing sandwiches. Because yeah. I don't know if you've ever been in a service station, but when we first started doing, when I first started doing the stand-up, you sort of like up and down the motorway, and the cost of the sandwiches, I thought, I'm not having it. So I started nicking them, all right? <laughs> I don't know if you know why they're so expensive. It's because most people who work in service stations at the moment are addicted to crystal meth. <laughs> it's meth. It's mad, isn't it? I know you're going, fucking hell, I never knew about that, bruv. <laughs> it's because of the isolation and the dislocation, they don't feel part of mainstream society. They're very vulnerable to dealers. <laughs> it was on the one show the other night. <laughs> she came out, she said, coming up next to report, daddy. Eh? <laughs> about addiction to crystal meth and a superstition of the mum, eh? I oh, know, it's uncanny, isn't it? <laughs> I was thinking, how does he do it? How did you just lock into accents like that? Bosh, he's straight in. <laughs> because what they do is they get up in the morning, they have a little bang on the pipe, and, uh, and then they do the pricing up. <laughs> just they're all up there now, and that's why when you pick a sandwich up, you go, fucking hell! <laughs> have a look at the cost of that sandwich! £4.70 for a cheese and pickle sandwich. <laughs> and you're in such a day, you just go and buy it, don't you? You just go. For the next few days, you keep looking at people. How much do you reckon I paid for a cheese and pickle sandwich? I don't know. I'm asking you, how much? Three fifty. Four pounds seventy. Bang liberty. Bang liberty. So I've been stealing them for about 15 years, right? <laughs> oh, I love it, I love it. Because I'd all my own little techniques, so I used to have a little hat on my head, right? I'd just, and I'd, I'd, I'd walk past the sandwiches, right? <laughs> I'd have a little look in, and the hat would fall off. And I'd go, oh, my hat! <laughs> and as I picked the hat up, I would just push it down over a sandwich. <laughs> lift it out. Bosh, out the building. <laughs> You ain't got to take these ideas on, just introducing you to them, that's all. <laughs> but when we had the bit of success, we were called in by the promoter, right, because we were about to go off on a massive UK tour, and he sat me down. Bit of a meeting, we had a bit of a meeting, didn't we? The promoter said, we've had a little bit of a whisper that you steal sandwiches <laughs> when you're on the road. I had to front it out, didn't I? I said, yeah, I do. What's your problem? <laughs> got a bit tasty, bruv, got a bit tasty, right? The promoter said, I'll tell you our problem. We can't have a couple of thousand people waiting to see you. Your nick down to a sandwich. We'll have to give everyone their money back. The insurance people won't pay out. Do you see our problem? I said, all right, don't fucking go on about it. I'll give it a miss. <laughs> and I left. I nicked a pen. <laughs> it's a big quality one, right? And, uh, so I stayed strong for about 80 dates. I didn't nick nothing, right? The Lord, he did go! me, led me by the hand into a righteous way. It's all right, I ain't thank God. So, I did still nothing, right? Nothing for 80 days, but then walking around the service station on the way to Cardiff, right? I saw them there, two mini pork pies. <laughs> and on the packet, it said pocket sized. Eight? <laughs> Because there's another thing that'll happen. Every now and then, I'll just become Afro-Caribbean, innit, it, right? Because <laughs> when I was growing up in the 70s, a lot of my mates were from the West Indies, and they were the coolest kids in school. And this is how they used to walk. Limp drag, limp drag, limp drag. 
and they taught me how to walk like it. Limp dick! Limp dick! <laughs> and you've got to admit, it's a cool walk, isn't it, the limp drag? <laughs> but you've got to have a lot of time on your hands for the limp drag. Because <laughs> if you're in a rush, it's shit, it is. It's like... <laughs> get away, I'm late for school, get away! <laughs> You've got a lot of time on your hands. <laughs> I used to walk along the Bethnal Green Road. What up, mother? What up, hon? Well, you're wearing one of your fucking trainers out a bit lively, aren't you? <laughs> Novix, me and your pussy cloth, Novix! <laughs> so, I've nicked the two mini pork pies. That's the top and bottom of it. I'm in the queue now, we're paying for the other bits. I'm going through changes now, and I'm thinking, oh, you maniac, what have you done? <laughs> I'm waiting for the tap on the shoulder. They always get you at the checkout, don't they? Well, come with me, sir. I'm thinking, right, get your story straight, Fanny, and what are you going to tell these people? <laughs> Cry for help, touched as a child. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was on it, so knockout. But the tap don't come. Bosh, we got away with it. <laughs> we got out of the building, me and Barry, the tour manager. We got out of the building, right? We got a flash motor that we take on tour. We got in the flash motor. I turned to Barry. I went, bow, bow, have a look. <laughs> I've had too many pork pies away. <laughs> One each, bow. Arvesy, arvesy, innit? it? Arvesy, arvesy. I ain't greedy, bow. <laughs> you weren't impressed. Oh, he went right the other way. He said, what a stupid thing to do. I've never seen anything so more ridiculous in all my life. He said, life could not be working out better for you at the moment. The tour is selling out. The DVD's coming out soon. You're putting it all at risk for two mini pork pies. <laughs> he said, I don't understand it. And I don't understand why you look so proud of yourself either. <laughs> I said, Bow, I ain't proud, mate. I ain't proud of nicking too many pork pies. But this family sized bottle of red sauce, pal. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Go get some respect for that, eh? How could we have a pork pie without red sauce? <laughs> are you out or were you out? <laughs>